Okay, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since we've posted a video, but uh, we're going to show you a few things uh, now that we've got our block stripped and we want to build it up. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is how to fit a offset keyway. And uh, these are available on our website. Uh, they range from 2, 4, 6 and 8 degrees. And they're fairly simple to fit. If you have your crankshaft out, it's really easy to uh, remove the keyway. Just take a screwdriver or a punch or something, place it behind the original keyway. And usually in there quite tight. And there we have the original keyway knocked out. If your crank is fitted in a built up engine, had the flywheel on originally you would need to either if you're completely stripping the engine look at one of our videos on how to remove the flywheel um, when it's if an engine's completely stripped on like this it's just a case of giving the crank a tap to release the flywheel however if the engine's completely built up and you're not stripping the engine and you want to fit a timing key just by removing the flywheel, you will need to get a set of pullers to pull the flywheel off. And uh, we recommend leaving the nut on uh, loosely so that the flywheel doesn't fall off. So once you have the flywheel off, turn the engine so the flywheel side's facing you. Take the keyway out and you'll see on the keyway there's a groove cut in it. You want the groove to be on the ignition coil side. It's just a case of placing the keyway in to the slot and giving it a little tap. And that's your keyway fitted. Then when it comes to fit either your flywheel or a billet aluminium flywheel, you Push the flywheel on, and as you can see, there's a tiny bit of movement on the flywheel. So you want to push it on, and make sure the flywheel butts up against that groove by turning the flywheel slightly clockwise, so that you can feel it made up against the keyway, and then it's just a case of tightening up the flywheel. Mm -hmm. 